Hello everyone. In today's video, I wanted to do the naked hardbacks video. And this was one that made the rounds about three years ago and I'm finally getting to it. So the idea is that you take off all of the dust jackets from your books and see what's underneath and if any are particularly pleasing. So as you might imagine, I definitely found a good selection. So here we go. These first few are all pretty similar and have cloth bound inside covers and engravings or embossings of the author's name or the title. This little volume of Emily Bronte's poems is one of my favorites on the outside and on the inside it's a lovely blue color with some gold embossing and there is the spine. The next one is this edition of Falling Up by Shel Silverstein. On the inside it has Shel Silverstein's signature on there in a nice shiny silver and there's the spine. And then I have a couple of Toni Morrison's books and in my last video I showed you Paradise and the inside front cover is it looks like black with Toni Morrison's initials and then her full name and title on the spine. And then there's Love which on the front has the title printed and then there is the spine. I also really love this deep red color. And then I have the books by Colin Malloy, illustrated by Carson Ellis. So this one was also in my most recent video, The Whiz Mob and the Grenadine Kid. And I haven't read this, and today was actually the first time I've looked on the front cover. There's the cool end papers. And then the cover has this kind of leathery looking image embossed on there of some laurels and maybe like a fruit beetle. So that's definitely intriguing. There's the spine on that one. And then of course there is the Wildwood series, which is one of my favorites. On Wildwood, the front has this gold little crow, I think it is. And then the spine has these little cute plants surrounding the title. The second book, Under Wildwood, has this gold fox and the little plants have turned into what look like berries. And then finally, Wildwood Imperium, which has a bear on the cover and ivy leaves by the title on the spine. Another cute one was also in my recent book haul. This is Forgotten Country by Katherine Chung. Just has a really sweetly colored inside cover and this cute little embossing of a little bird on a branch. And this one was a library discard. And unfortunately, when I was taking off the book jacket, which is attached by some very strong tape, it tore off just a little bit of the paper there, so that was unfortunate, but it's still really cute. Then I have a couple of hardbacks where the cover is partially translucent or see-through. There's the sleeper and the spindle, and if you take off the cover, this is what the main cover looks like, and then underneath is that drawing of the princess. And on the back is just the skull, which looks like this with the cover on. And another similar one is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. This one is completely clear, except for the text. And then you just have the picture of the sculpture there. And there's the text on the spine and the image on the back. And here is what that looks like with the cover on. Next is a group of really cool, kind of more artistic inside covers. This one is my vintage copy of The House at Pooh Corner, and the dust jacket is very worn out and makes it easy to see why a lot of dust jackets don't survive over the years. And here is what that one looks like underneath. It has got pictures or illustrations of all of the characters. And there's the spine, and then the back is just plain blue. Then there is the series of William Shakespeare's Star Wars. I grabbed this one, which is the Clone Army Attacketh. And underneath, it might be a little hard to see, but it looks like an old leather-bound book. Like, maybe it's 
part of the ancient Jedi texts or something. Then there is this edition of The Art of the Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. And of course it's got his artwork on the cover. And then without the jacket, it has kind of a more close up image from the same painting, but just in outlines and a little more detailed and just really subtly printed on there. And here is the back, which is the same thing without all of the text on there. And then there is The Secret Garden. And this is definitely such a beautiful book and I'm so glad that I own it because as you can see from the cover, the illustrations are very gorgeous. And here is the back of the jacket. So here is the front cover without the jacket, which has another one of the images from inside the book. And then there's the spine. And then there is the back, which is just really lovely as well. And lastly, I have three books by an author who, if anyone, I would definitely expect his books to have something cool underneath. So first I'll show you the most recent one that I read, that is The Marvels. And this is definitely my favorite cover of his, by far, while the inside is just a little more plain. And if you look really closely, it says you either see it or you don't, which is a prominent line from the book. And then there is the spine and the back just has a really simple gold outline. His first one in this style was of course the invention of Hugo Cabret, which is definitely most well known. And this one has a really cool swirly white pattern on the front. There's a spine and same thing on the back. And then the coolest of his by far on the inside is Wonderstruck. So when you remove the jacket, you get this absolutely beautiful painting of the lightning strike. And it's just really beautiful and monotone colors. There's the spine and there is the back and it's just so cool looking. If you look up really close, you can see the Twin Towers there on the New York City skyline. So I think this one is by far my favorite and would look so cool just displayed on a shelf without the dust jacket. So those are all my naked hardbacks. I do have a lot of hardbacks that didn't come with book jackets and those are some of my most favorite editions and you can see most of them right up here. So Barnes and Noble of course has a lot of editions of classics that are gorgeous and then there are the Penguin cloth bound books that I absolutely love and the Rifle Paper Company editions of the Puffin and Bloom series and those are also so gorgeous but I'm not going to highlight those because they were made specifically to not have a dust jacket and I will link down below to Shar Reads the original creator of this video idea and I definitely encourage you to look what's underneath your dust jackets if you have not. I hope the lighting isn't too terrible. I'm filming this a little later in the day than I had hoped but Oh well. A month ago it would have been pitch black outside right now. So as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!